Hello there. Glad to meet you. My name is Oak, and this is the world of Poke. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a prof. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Right, so your name is Red. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to un- Oh, for God's sake! Stop hitting your L button! Oh yeah! Suck it! Suck all of it! It must be embarrassing to be a noob like you, little Jimothy! I actually feel bad for your parents having to deal with an embarrassment like you! Oh, you gonna cry? What, are you that pathetic? You're probably the kind of kid who can't wait for his dad to beat him up because it's the only human affection you'll ever have! Whoa, man, that's going too far. Yeah, leave him alone, it's just a game. Hey guys, I'm just providing constructive criticism. It's not my fault that little Jimothy can't take a joke. Red, it's time to leave. Just five more minutes, mom. Red, Professor Oak is waiting for you. Mom, I'm almost to level 69. It's kind of important. Red, get your ass down here right now! Yes, ma'am. There you are, sweetie. Oh, look at my little pumpkin. All grown up. Mom, I'm 10. They just grow up so fast these days. Uh-huh. Okay, sweetie. Professor Oak is next door at his lab. It's time for you to go and choose your very first Pokemon. Oh, I'm so excited for my little man to go off on his very own Pokemon journey. You're not going to shack up with Professor Oak while I'm gone, are you? What? That's such a silly thing to say, I mean. He's so much older than I am. So much older. So much more... Experienced. Ew, 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 is there bleach for your brain? God, I gotta get that thought out of my head. Maybe there's some kind of plant I can- Hello, Red. Ah, stay away from my mother. Um, what? You're not really here. This is all just a hallucination caused by this weed I just ate. Oh, what an interesting reaction to eating the hair off an oddish. I shall have to research this further. And Oddish? Yes. I didn't even know they resided near these parts. I... I just ate the hair. Off an Oddish? Actually, Red, this is part of why I'm here. It's dangerous to go into tall grass on your own. You need a Pokemon partner to help you. I think I'm gonna throw up. Come, my boy. Let's go back to my lab to get you a Pokemon of your own. Is there a bucket there I can throw up in? Not to worry, son. Please don't call me son! We'll have you feeling better in no time. Oh good, you've got medicine or something for me. Here you go. Time to pick your first Pokemon. Now won't that make you feel better? Senile old freak. Hey Red, you excited to choose your first Pokemon? I know I am. I stayed up all night thinking about- Ah yes, this here is my grandson. You two have been friends since you were babies. I mean, Yes, we have, but why is that something you would say? Ah, not to worry, Red. Gramps is just excited to see us start our journey. I'm sure he's been planning on what exactly to say for- Now, what was my grandson's name again? Erm, um, Gramps? Gramps, it's me. It's- it's Blue. <laughs> Don't you know me, Gramps? I- I didn't think it would come to this. That you look at my face and not know who I- His name is Balls! That's right, Balls. God damn it, Red. Now, I have three Pokemon here. Each of you can choose one. However, choose carefully, for it is perhaps the most important decision you will ever make. I choose Pikachu! Pikachu is not an option. No, seriously, I want Pikachu. Red, you can only pick Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. But what about Pikachu? Not an option. What? But, but it's Pikachu! Everyone knows Pikachu's the best starter Pokemon! Pikachu isn't a starter Pokemon. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. I think I'll pick Squirtle. It 
has such a happy face. Aw, I just want to hug it. You and I are going to be best friends, Squirtle. Oh, so that's the way it is, huh, Balls? Um, what? You heard me say I wanted Pikachu to be my starter, so you chose a Pokemon weaker than Pikachu just to rub it in my face about how much better you are than me? What? No, of course not. I just like Squirtle. Well, two could play at that game, you son of a bitch. Professor Oak, I choose Charmander to be my starter. Splendid. Both of you have now chosen your starter Pokemon. Uh... Okay? Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? I'm gonna name my Squirtle Shadow, because I never wanted to leave my side. That is so lame. Well, I don't think so. Nobody cares what you think, Balls! As for me, I don't need to nickname my Pokemon. I'm just gonna use them to blaze through Kanto, become the champion, and then shove them in a computer for the rest of time. No need to get attached. Well, I'm happy that you both have finally chosen your very first Pokemon, Grandson Balls. There's something I'd like you to do for me. Yes, Gramps? I have a package waiting for me in Viridian City, just up the road. Would you please go and pick it up for me? Why didn't you just have it mailed here? It's at the Pokemart, and seeing as how old I am, I can't make the journey myself. So, just have it mailed here instead. Would you be so kind as to go get it for me? Ah. <sighs> Okay, sure. Let me go grab it real quick. Hey, not so fast! Why should you go and get it? I know, he really should have just mailed it here instead. I can get it faster than you! Oh, well, if you really want to, I can let you go instead of me. Trying to stop me? We'll see about that. Hey, wait a minute. I can just let you go. I don't mind. Charmander, you scratch attack! Shadow! Oh no, Shadow! Yes, victory! Shadow, are you okay? Speak to me, little buddy. And let that be a lesson for you to never mess with me again. Shadow? <sniffs> Shadow? Aw, you having trouble smelling? Well, balls. Smell you later. Ha! Time to go and get Professor Oak's parcel. Gramps, will Shadow be okay? Of course. Just use this machine, and your Pokemon will be fully healed in no time. Oh, thank God. Thanks, Gramps. You're welcome, Balls. God damn it, Red. On the road to Viridian City. Oh, yeah. On the road. On the road. On the road. Oh, yeah. On the road to Viridian City. Hey there. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. Hey, you know what's even scarier? Interrupting me while I'm singing. Um, how is that scary? Listen, kid, I've got a story to tell you. It's about a brand new Pokemon trainer who was just minding his business when suddenly a little pipsqueak got in his way and started talking about how fun it is jumping from ledges. Pipsqueak? And this Pokemon trainer decided, you know what? Jumping from ledges does sound like fun. In fact, let's throw you over one right now! Mommy! Yeah, you better run, bitch! On the road to Viridian City! Oh yeah, on the road, on the road, on the road, booyah! Hey, I'm Red. Professor Oak sent me to pick up his Viagra or something. Oh yes, young trainer Red. Professor Oak called us earlier today and let us know you'd be coming. Great! Well, here I am. And here is Professor Oak's package. <laughs> now, I'm not sure why he didn't just have it mailed to his laboratory in Palatown. Mailing it here and then having to send someone to pick it up sounds like a bit of a waste of time to me. But what do I know? Yeah, 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 whatever. Just give it to me and I'll go straight back home and give it to him. Now, it is very important that you make no detours. You must take this parcel to Professor Oak right now. I cannot understate the importance of this errand of yours, young trainer Red. This is more significant than you can ever know. You can count on me. I promise. I will take this straight to Professor Oak. Wow, what an idiot. Of course I'm not going straight back. What's wrong with these boomers? I've got too much else to do. Gyms to beat, the mob to destroy. I can't throw all that away for some Amazon Prime sh- You shall not pass. Excuse me, what? You shall not 
Pass! Um, okay, look, I don't want any trouble. I'm just passing through. Let's go! What's an inside job? Well, what the f is wrong with you? I'm sorry, kid. Grandpa had a bit too much glug glug last night, and well. <sighs> This sometimes happens when he does that. Let's stole the election! He stole it, I tell you! Oh, can you... I don't know. Take him inside where no one can hear him. Or maybe... Euthanize him? Bro, that's my grandfather you're talking about. Oregon causes autism! Look, kid. I'll slide some green stuff into his coffee. That should patch him up. Buy green stuff. Do you mean... It'll take a little while to fully work, so you're better off coming back later. The longer you have to hear him like this, the more brain cells you're gonna lose. Altair's a myth! Aloha is flat! The military is guarding you to, to make sure nobody can get in! We must build a wall between us and Jono and make them pay for it! I'm going, I'm going! Stupid old creep won't let me pass. Now I gotta go back to Pallet Town and give Professor Oak his package. Yeah, I'd like to give him a package, all right. Hey, what's this thing? Stupid ledges in the stupid road. Who puts ledges in the road anyway? All I want is a clear way back home. But no, they just have to surprise me with- Gah, surprise attack! Son of a bitch! That stupid ledge forced me into a Pokemon battle. Fine, go Charmander, burn this rat to a crisp. Oh, but I'm not done yet. Left, right, left, right, left, right, boom! Perfect! Another rat attack! Tell your friends what you saw. Hey, Professor Oak, I'm back! Ah, Red, good to see you again. How has your Pokemon journey treated you thus far? Like shit! Splendid! Now, have you come to deliver my parcel? Sure have! I'm not sure why you couldn't have just mailed it here instead of Viridian City. Ah, this is the new Pokeball I ordered. New Pokeball? I'm very happy to have this. This allows me to capture any Pokemon I wish. It's a Master Ball? Master Ball? Why, that's an excellent name. I've been carrying a Master Ball around this entire time. Thank you so much for delivering it to me, Red. I'm sure this Master Ball, as you call it, shall make an excellent home for a Pidgey or a Magikarp I shall find. No words. I have no words. There's absolutely nothing I could say right now to describe this. I agree, Red. Isn't modern science wonderful? It allows us to create such amazing inventions that make all of our lives so much easier. I take it back. I know exactly what to say. Motherf- Hey, Gramps. Hey, Red. I'm glad to see your trip went well. Balls, mother oak! What? Ah, grandson Balls. I'm glad you came back. I have something to give you. Oh, don't tell me you're giving him the Master Ball. Goodness, no. Balls doesn't have the experience for such a big load. Say what now? I want to give both of you something very special. You see these? These are Pokedexes. I have one for each of you. These devices automatically record data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It was once my dream to catch every Pokemon in the world, but I am old now and I am comfortable living in retirement thanks to living the best generation known to man. Freaking boomers. It's up to you two now to catch every single Pokemon. My dream is now your dream. Please, boys, fulfill my dream. Gramps, I promise I'll do my best. Yeah, no sweat. There's only, what, 150 Pokemon? It can't be that hard. There's 386. What? 493. But you just said- 649. Okay, f this. I'm just gonna go become champion. 721. Gramps, are you okay? 809. Gramps, we should get you to bed. Back in my day, there were only 150 Pokemon. Yes, Gramps. Now off to bed with you. Hey, lady, I'm back. Is your grandpa still a loon? Hello again. Grandpa had his coffee. He's much better now. Right, coffee. He refused to drink it at first, but I managed to convince him it was Kafifi, and that did the trick. I'm sure it did. You should be able to walk past him now without any problems whatsoever. I'm sorry for any inconvenience we might have caused you. Well, apology accepted. Let's just forget all about it. In fact, the sooner I forget about this crazy old geezer, the happier I'll be. Ah, uh, a young traveler. 
Greetings! Uh, hello, sir. I'm just going up to Viridian Forest. Ah, so you're off to catch some Pokemon. Well, kinda. You're in luck, Yod One, for I am what they call a Master Catcher. A uh, what now? I am a professional at catching Pokemon, and I will now teach you how to catch them too. What? I already know how to catch Pokemon. All you need to do... I said I already know how to catch Pokemon. Just start a Pokemon battle. Please stop. Check and see which Please Pokemon stop. it Shut is. Up. Shut oh, up. Look. Please stop. It's a Weedle. Shut up. Shut so up. All Shut you need to do... At last, Viridian Forest. Finally, the time has come. Since the moment my Pokemon journey began about 30 minutes ago, I've known only one thing. I want a Pikachu. And now, before me, lies the place where Pikachu live. The place where my future best Pokemon currently calls home. Okay, Pikachu, listen up. My name is Red, and I'm coming to get you. Gah! Nothing but Weedle and Caterpie. Where are you, Pikachu? Come out, come out, wherever you are! I know you're here, Pikachu. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk. I just want to talk! <laughs> Any moment now. <laughs> Pikachu will show up soon. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> Why, this could be Pikachu right now. Oh my god, it's Pikachu! At long last, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. Hey there, Pikachu. My name is Red, and I'm going to be your new best friend. Just give me a minute to look in my bag and... Hey, trainer. Did you hear about the level one Nidto King living in Viridian Forest? Look, lady, now's not a good time. Level one Needle King? Yeah, it's a special level one Nidto King. If you catch it and then battle another Pokemon just one time, it instantly grows to level 100. You're joking. Nope. Everyone knows about it. It's the thing that Viridian Forest is best known for. Hey, kid, have you ever heard of the level one Needle King? Well, yeah, everyone has heard about that, Boomer. Boomer? See? Well, in that case, First, I need to go buy Pokeballs. You got two great balls. And now, I'm going back into that forest and getting myself a level one Nido King. Okay, listen up, you stupid bitch. I just scoured every corner of that forest and there's not even a hint of a Nido King. Oh, you didn't use the escape rope? No, I walked. Why would I bother using an escape rope? Why, it's necessary to perform the glitch right. Glitch? Yes, of course! You're supposed to step on the tile in front of the final trainer at the end of the forest. And right as you do, encounter a wild Pokemon. You use the escape rope, then find a Pidgey, and use Growl on it six times. Go back into the forest, your menu will open on its own, and close your menu. And a level 1 Nidoking King will appear, and that's how you get it! What the actual fu- They're crazy! They're all crazy! Menus? Tiles? It's all nonsense! Nothing but nonsense! Everyone's just talking nonsense! I've gotta make sure never to talk to anybody ever again! STOP RIGHT THERE! Ow! You don't have to shout, I'm right next to you! Hartman only shouts! Hartman never stops shouting! Well then shout at someone else, I'm walking here! WHAT IS THE NAME OF THE TRAITOR HARTMAN IS YELLING AT?! Who, me? YES! None of your damn business, that's who! Hartman requires knowing the name of every traitor who passes by! Ugh, fine. My name is Red. Has Red defeated Peter City's gym leader yet?! No, Red has not, you inconsiderate bastard! Red must come with Hartman to visit Peter City's gym! Or else what? Well, lead the way. Follow Hartman! Hot two, three, four! Hot two, three, four! Hot two, three, four! This is Pewter City Gym! Red must defeat the gym leader to leave Pewter City! Um, why? Orders! Whose orders? Orders are orders! Good luck, Trainer Red! Hot two, three, four! Hot two, three, four! Hmm. Well, this should be a piece of cake. Welcome to the Pewter City Gym! Oh, hey, uh, don't worry about me. I'll be in and out before you know it. This gym specializes in rock-type Pokemon. 
I hope you're prepared. Not to worry, I've got Charmander with me. Um, uh, Charmander? Yeah? You got any other Pokemon on you? No, and trust me, I've tried. Good luck, dummy. Thanks! Hey, wait a minute! Hold right there, trainer! I'm Liam, and I'm here to stop you from reaching our gym leader! What a funny story! My name is Red, and I don't care! Hey, wait a minute! You're light years away from passing by me! Light years? You do know that light years measure distance, not time, right? Actually, the light years I was referring to... Uh, are... I don't have time for this. Hello, and welcome to my gym. I am the gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. <laughs> rock hard? My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. <laughs> and I am the most rock hard of all. <laughs> and my name is Brock. <laughs> no way! <laughs> There's no way that's your name! Brock? Like, like just rock with a B at the front? <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I mean, did you choose to be a rock-type Pokemon trainer just because the word rock is in your name? <laughs> so, you're going to challenge me knowing that- Wait, wait, I'm not done. I gotta ask. Before you started saying rock hard, did you used to say... Brock hard? <laughs> Enough! I grow tired of your insults. Let's have a Pokemon battle so I can put you in your place. Sure, whatever you say. Brock. <laughs> uh, go, Geodude! Let's teach this twerp a lesson! Alright, Charmander, let's get this over with. Geodude, use the fence curl! Buff your stats and make yourself solid as a rock! Look, pal, it can only be funny for so long. Just keep using the fence curl, Geodude. Yeah, great strategy, Mr. Amazing Gym Leader. Charmander, use Ember Attack. Defense Curl again! He'll never be able to break through! Charmander, one more Ember, please. He broke through! Unbelievable! Well, it seems I have no other choice. It's time to bring out the big boulder of my mountain of power! Go, Onyx! Oh, okay, that's actually pretty scary. You should be scared! Onyx, use Harden! Seriously? It was just pure luck that you broke through my Geodude's defense curl, but my Onyx is much bigger, and you'll never get past it! Oh, really? Hey, Charmander, Ember again. So much damage! Onyx, harden again! Yeah, Onyx, keep hardening that rock hard on of yours. Harden! Harden! Or should I say that rock hard on of yours? <laughs> No way! I've... I've lost! How are you, a disrespectful kid, so powerful against me? Trust me, it's not all that hard. Well, I have no choice. Trainer, you have forced me to do something I really didn't want to do! Uh-oh. I... I... I present to you this boulder badge. <laughs> Um, thanks. You have bested me, young trainer. Something that very few others have been able to do. Really? It was actually easy. Like, ridiculously easy. I must know one thing. What... What is your name? My name? It's Red. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Red? What kind of parent names their kid Red? Hey, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Charmander, use Ember Attack! Uh, no, my poor Pidgey! And that's how it's done! Wow, you're really strong, mister! Eh, it was nothing. Well, you beat me in battle fair and square. So, here's some money for you. Wow, thanks a lot! Who would have thought that beating up other kids' pets would make me as rich as... 77 cents, that's it. Don't spend it all in one place! Sure, whatever. Hey, listen, why don't you go ask your mommy or something for more money? I can't! And why not? Well, once you lose a Pokémon battle, you're stuck standing in one spot for the rest of time. What? That can't be right. You can't call for help. 
you just stand there and repeat the very last thing you said forever and ever. Well, thanks for your cash. Have a nice day. And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs>、for healing up my Charmander for free, Nurse Joy. You do know you have to pay for all this, right? This is a state of the art treatment center. You can't just expect me to do all this for free, do you? Ha, you're funny. Boy, boy. Hey, you, boy, come here. Are you addressing me? I want you to have a look at this Pokemon. Huh? What is this thing? The King of All Cup, a magic cup. What do I do? Eat it? Just between you and me, this magic cup is like a Pokemon gold mine. Gold mine. Right. A magic cup lays one thousand eggs at a time. Each of those one thousand baby magic cups lays one thousand more. One thousand times one thousand makes one million. Every one of those one million lays another thousand. That's a billion Pokemon. A billion? You can sell one magic cup for a hundred dollars. In three generations, you have tons of money. Billions and billions. Billions? You'll be so rich you can go on a Pokemon shopping spree. Rich, rich. I normally charge a hundred dollars, but for you, I'll throw in an egg laying set, a childcare set, and an education set for only three hundred dollars. How about it? I'll take it. I can tell you are going to be a very rich man. A very rich man. Yes, yes. Just take my money and give me Magikarp. Okay, Magikarp. Let's take a look at your power. Oh man, you gotta be the most powerful Pokemon of all time. Honestly, 500 bucks was a steal compared to the money you'll make me. Okay, here we go. A puny Zubat should be a piece of cake for you. Magikarp, attack! I said attack! Magikarp, come on, you stupid fish, do something! Son of a bitch! I want a refund, or at least an exchange. The magic harp you sold me seems to be defective. No refunds, no exchanges. What? But this thing doesn't. Your magic harp is completely normal. They are all like that. You mean, magic harp are completely worthless? How dare you! Yours was worth six hundred dollars. Gah! Hey, Nurse Joy, are you aware that there's a scammer in this Pokemon Center? You're telling me? Do you have any idea how much money you owe me? Whoops! Gotta go. Thank you. Come again. I don't need no stinking Magikarp anyway. I got Charmander, and that's all I need. Charmander, use Ember. Magikarp's got nothing on Charmander. Charmander, use Ember. I bet Balls is mad that I got a Charmander and he didn't. Charmander, use Ember. Hey kid, I see you way over there. I challenge you to a battle. Ha <laughs> ha! Your funeral. Oh come on! How many Zubats are in this cave? Charmander, use Ember. Whenever you're ready, kid. I'm coming. Oh, oh, come on! Another Zubat? This is unreal. Charmander, use Ember. While we're young, kid. You can see I'm getting attacked by a ton of Zubat, right? All I'm hearing are excuses. I think you're scared of me. What's to be scared of? You're so short you can sit on a dime and eat off a nickel. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm coming over there to kick your ass. Oh God, damn it! There, I told you I could beat you. Oh man, and I thought for sure my Weedle stood a chance against your Charmander. Was that sarcasm? Yes, it was sarcasm. I wanted to be a scientist when I grew up, but one day my dad gave me this stupid hat, and then my fate was sealed as a bug catcher instead. Nobody cares. Where's my money? Ugh, fine. Here you go. Thanks, kid. Have a great rest of eternity standing here doing nothing. Hey, before you go, I have some advice for you. Will this advice help me avoid Zubat? Oh, you can just use a repel for that. My advice is about the rest of this cave. There's a bunch of shady-looking people walking around. I recommend avoiding them as much as you can. Or I'll just pulverize them with my Charmander. Rumor has it they're here to dig up old fossils, valuable fossils. Hey, don't get started, kid. I just got out of an MLM scheme. It's not a scheme. These fossils can actually be resurrected on Cinnabar Island. The most powerful of the fossils is known as Lord Helix, and when you pray to it, you will gain unfathomable wisdom and never-ending youth. 
It's very important that you get the Helix Fossil before you leave this cave. Sure, kid. Whatever you say. See you later. Oh, gotta use a repel real quick. Bye-bye, Zubat. See you later, loser. Hey, Gary, you got any spare Pokeballs on you? Yeah, I've got a few. Why? Mind if I borrow them? I'll give them back when our job's done. I just need them right now. It's very important. Uh, sure, but what is it for? Well, I got this sack full of Pokemon we stole. I'm trying to get it as full as possible. Why exactly? Because it's my ball sack. Wow. Right? It's genius. Nobody in their right mind is going to walk up to us and demand we hand over our ball sack. I knew I should have transferred to the game corner. What, officer? Stolen Pokemon? No, I don't have anything like that. But I would be more than happy to show you my ball sack. Shh! Here comes a kid. Hide it. Good idea, Gary. I shouldn't show kids my ball sack. I swear to God! Hey, losers! Are you going to challenge me to a Pokemon battle as well? Or will you let me go in peace? Losers? How dare you? Do you have any idea who we are? We are Team Rocket! We are the most powerful, most beloved, most lucrative, and most successful evil organization in the world! And we will not tolerate such insolence against our good name. I shall take off my gloves and slap you in the face, young man, and challenge you to a duel. Hey, what's with that big bag you're hiding behind your back? Oh, there's nothing. Nothing at all. You're right, kid. You're too powerful for us. Better get going. Ha! Huh, wise decision. You wouldn't stand a chance against me. Aw, oh, come on, Gary. I've got dozens of stolen Pokemon I could use. Shut up, Frank. Just give me a minute to stretch my ball sack, and I'll give him a good beating. Jesus Christ, I'm out! Hey, what's the rush? Two perverts just trying to harass me! Oh, Gary and Frank. Yeah, I've had problems with them, too. Wait, how do you know them? <laughs> know them? Whatever do you mean? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, would you like a free fossil? A free fossil? Yeah, I just dug up those two fossils up there earlier today, and hey, sharing is caring, right? What's the catch? No catch. Just take one, please. I have two for you to choose from. A dome fossil and a helix fossil. What did you say? A dome fossil and a helix fossil. A dome fossil and a helix fossil. Now, what did that bug catcher tell me? The most powerful of the fossils is known as Lord Helix, and when you pray to it, you will gain unfathomable wisdom and never-ending youth. It's very important that you get the Helix fossil before you leave this cave. Hmm. My good man, upon careful consideration, I would like the Dome Fossil. Splendid. Now, just go up there and get it. Alrighty, don't mind if I do. Unfathomable wisdom and never-ending youth, here I come! Surprise attack! Hey, what the hell? What is this? Why'd you attack me from behind like that? Isn't it obvious? This is an ambush. You know all about Team Rocket's plans, and now I have to make sure you don't tell anyone. What? What plans? Our plans to harvest fossils from Mount Moon and resurrect them into powerful Pokémon and use them to take over the world. I literally had no idea you were going to do that. And our plans to steal everybody's Pokemon so that no one will have Pokemon to resist our Pokemon when we take over the world. I might have known about that. And the fact that our secret hideout is inside the game corner in Celadon City, which shall become our headquarters when we take over the world. You know, you really should stop blabbing all your top secret plans to some random kid. No need to worry about that. You won't live long enough to tell anybody else. Go coughing! You won't take me down that easily! Go Charmander! Use Ember! Freaking Zubat. Ha! It appears your Charmander is too weak to battle. Coughing! Use Tackle Attack! Charmander! Resistance is futile. I will kill your precious Charmander, and then I will kill you. Charmander, listen to me! I know you're tired, and I know I've been overly reliant on you for my entire journey, but now more than ever, I need you! Charmander, 
If you could just find the strength to beat this coughing and save me from the stupid cave, I promise I'll never take you for granted again. Are you ready to die? Not today! Charmander, you scratch! A critical hit? No. No! You did it, Charmander! I'm so proud of you! Charmander, you're... Wait, what is this? What's happening? Charmeleon, this... This is amazing! I didn't think it was possible to be this moved by something. My little Charmander is growing up, and growing stronger, and growing closer to me. I... I really feel like I'm evolving too, as a trainer. Because if Charmeleon felt strong enough to evolve because of me, then maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe... Maybe it's time for me to really focus on my Pokemon journey. It's time to grow up a little bit myself. It's time to be the very best, like no one ever was. It's time to catch them all, starting with this very next Poke- Hello, and welcome to the Cerulean City Gym. Yeah, sure, whatever. Listen, pal, I'm in a rush. I just want to get my badge and bail, capiche? Wow. You should really learn to talk with a bit more respect. And you should learn to shut the f*** up! I just spent the last two days of my life walking mindlessly through a stupid cave full of bats. One of them was even green! A green bat! Do you have any idea how terrifying that was? You found a shiny? And you know what? I'm tired. I'm real tired of having to deal with so much nonsense. So I would appreciate it if you just tell the gym leader I'm here so I can beat him up and go about my business! Well... First of all, the gym leader's name is Misty. <laughs> what a stupid name for a gym leader. What kind of parent names their son Misty? Misty's a girl. What? A girl gym leader? Yes. Okay, so go tell her I'm here for my battle. I can't. Why not? Because she's not here. What? You mean I came all this way and she doesn't even have the courtesy to be here when I arrive? She went off to Bill's house this morning. They're good friends, and he called to ask Well, you about... couldn't have just said that in the first place! Where is Bill's house? I'll go there right now and challenge Misty to a battle there! Um, sir, you can only have official gym battles at the gym. Look, pal, let me spell it out to you. Either you tell me how to get to Bill's house right now, or I'll bring out my Charmeleon and have it torture your face so bad it'll be a closed casket funeral! Do I make myself clear? It's north of here. Just... Follow the path, you can't miss it. Thank you! Now was that so hard? I'll be back! Sure, whatever you say. Jackass. North to Bill's house. Can't miss it. Sounds simple enough. Just gotta go find that bitch Misty and I'll have a new badge before dinner. Hey, Red! Wow! What a coincidence seeing you here! Balls! What are you doing here? Right, Balls. That's my name. Oh, I see how it is! You think you're so clever, one step ahead of me! What's that? I bet you beat Misty this morning! And after you did, you probably told her to go to Bill's house far, far away from here in order to keep me from beating her myself! No, I don't even know who Misty- And now you're here, blocking my path, probably ready to challenge me to a battle just to delay me even further! What? No, I really don't feel like battling- Well, let me tell you something, Balls! I just blazed through Mount Moon, and I caught a few new Pokémon of my own! If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you're going to get! Red, my Pokémon are in no condition to fight right now! Red, seriously, I don't want to battle! Yeah, because you're scared of me! My Pokémon are weak for my trip up the route! Look, here's my Pidgeotto! Pidgeotto? Ha! What a joke! Charmeleon, go! Red, please! I need to get to a Pokémon Center! Charmeleon, use Ember! No! Pidgeotto! Is that all you got, Balls? A lousy bird! Abra, use Teleport! Get us out of here! Charmeleon, use Ember! Abra! Better give up, Balls! I'm trying to give up! Does it really look like I can win against you with a Rattata? Ha! This should be a piece of cake. 
allow me to introduce to you my Ekans! Ekans, it's dinner time! I hope you like mice! Red, this is seriously uncalled for! Ekans, use rap! Rattata, quick attack! What? Wow, Rattata, I... I'm so proud of you! What the hell, Balls? Why'd you have to do that? Rattata, you're the best! I love you so much! Stupid rat, I hope it dies! Red! You know what? I'm going to leave. Oh, finally! Thank you, Red. Don't get me wrong. It's not because I'm afraid of you. It's because I've decided that you're just not worth my time. I have a house to visit, and a gym badge to get, and a lot more important things than waste time standing here with you. Hey, I totally get it! I hope you get your next badge, Red! The next time I see you, Balls, I'm gonna win our rematch. Wait, rematch? And you'd better train up your Rattata real well, because I'm going to kill it! Do you hear me, Balls? I'LL KILL IT! <laughs> Well, now that that's out of the way, it's time to go to Bill's house and drag Misty back to her gym so I can- My Radita is the top percentage of Radita. Aw, uh, isn't that adorable? Hey, listen, kid, I'm kind of doing something important right now. Would you like to see my Radita? Actually, I've already seen too many Radita today. Can I take a rain check? Come on out, Radita. Honestly, kid, I'm really strong. I wouldn't want to hurt your- Holy sh- That thing's level 100! Radita! You scratch! Ah! Uh, where, where am I? Ah, young man, you have woken up. It seems youngster Joey's Rattata has claimed another victim. Since when has Rattata been the most powerful Pokemon of all time? You'll have to forgive youngster Joey. He gets a little eager showing off his pet Rattata. I'm sure he didn't mean you any harm. You know what? No hard feelings. I'm okay, my Pokemon are okay, everything is... okay. Splendid! In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go to him right now. I'll let him know that all is forgiven. Water under the bridge. Nothing to worry about. And I'm gonna take your rat for myself, you little bastard! Wait, you're not Youngster Joey. No, my name is Kale. Well, where did Youngster Joey go? Oh, his mom called him home for dinner, but that's okay. You can still battle me. Do you have a Rattata? No, my only Pokemon is a Bellsprout. Bellsprout, eh? I bet that's a strong Pokemon you've got. It sure is. I've been raising it so it's big and strong. Really? Would you, uh, mind if I took a look at it? Sure. Come on out, Bellsprout. Wow, look at that. You're right. It sure looks strong. Yeah, and since it's a grass-type Pokemon, it's a really great choice to bring against Misty. You don't say. Yep, so how about it? Do you want to have a Pokemon battle? Nah, that's okay. Aw, really? You don't like my Bellsprout? Like it? I love it. In fact... Ha! Hey, wait! See ya, kid! Really? That kid stole my Bellsprout! Hey, stop right there! Joke's on you, lady! This Bellsprout will tear right through your team! You can't just take people's Pokemon, kid! Who do you think you are, Team Rocket? Honestly, girl, if there was a guy on this bridge who offered to let me sign up, I'd do it in a heartbeat. You're such a jerk! Yeah, a jerk with a level 69 Bellsprout! I guess we're doing this the hard way. Go Nidoran! <laughs> Piece of cake! Bellsprout, use Stun Sport! Uh, what? You idiot! Pokemon that high level won't obey if you don't have the appropriate gym badge! Oh. Uh... Yeah! So what are you going to do now, numbnuts? So, I had a change of heart, and I decided Bellsprout belongs with you. And look, it's so happy to be back with you again. I mean, I was just kidding anyway, stealing that Bellsprout, so... Uh, no hard feelings, right? Bellsprout? Use Vine Whip! What? Hey, wait! Ah! Uh, my head... Well, this is a surprise. We don't usually have repeat visitors here. My mouth tastes like grass. That tends to happen when you visit Cerulean City. It's done wonders for our tourism industry. Bill, I need to get to Bill's house. You have no 
idea. Some of the finest grass in the whole of Kanto can be found in Bill's garden. Just take the road up north. You can't miss it. Ugh. Ugh. Finally. At last. I'm here. Ugh. It took so long. So much wasted time. But Misty, I'm here. I challenge you to a battle, and I'm going to beat you! Whoa, a Pokemon! I'm not a Pokemon! I'm a human! I'm a human! What kind of Pokemon are you? I'm not a Pokemon, you idiot! This is just some really weird sh What's that, boy? You need something? Hey, what's this? A ticket for the SSN? This one? It's about to be true! Nasty, you bitch! Well, since it doesn't look like Bill's here, I'm just gonna take this. What? I guess Misty went back to the gym. Hey, listen, when Bill comes back, how about you, uh, don't tell him anything, okay? <laughs> well, it's been nice seeing you. Talk to you later. Hey, Ref, did Misty come back? <sighs> yes. Good. Now, can you tell her that the Red is here to see her? No. Thank you. Wait, what? If you want to challenge her, you'll have to go and tell her yourself. Oh, the nerve. Do you have any idea who I am? No. I am Red. The Red. I, I can't believe you haven't heard of me. I don't care. Ah, oh, why? I think I'll let the Pokemon League know about you when I'm done. I'll file a complaint with your boss and ask him how he could possibly let someone like you work here. Okay. You haven't heard the last of me. What a jerk. What an absolute jerk. I can't believe some people these days. Hi, you're a new face. I'm Misty, and I'm the leader of the Cerulean City Gym. And I'm Red. I'm here to kick your ass. Wow, we've got a spunky trainer here today. I like that. Spunky. Very well. I accept your challenge. My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Don't think just because you're cute that I'll go easy on you. Flattery will get you nowhere, Miss Bikini Bod. Oh, you. <laughs> okay, Star you, you're up first. I was warned that you use water type Pokemon, so I came prepared. Behold my gloom! Ah, a grass type Pokemon. A fine choice from a fine looking trainer. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gloom, use Absorb! That was a good attack. Light, but firm. Just how I like it. Okay, sure. Star you, Water Pulse! Okay, that's a pain. I know, right? But the pain just makes the victory even more pleasurable. Gloom, absorb again. All right, great job, Gloom. I'm impressed. You took down my first Pokemon. But can you handle double the intensity from my Starmie? I'll show you just how hot I can be. <laughs> Go, Charmeleon. OK, not exactly what I had in mind, but hey. Turning up the heat and making me sweat is something I'm always down for. It gives you an excuse to hose me down afterwards. Charmeleon, use flamethrower! Uh-oh, looks like Starmie couldn't handle the heat. That's okay. Sometimes things are just too intense for most people. Except me, of course. Are you going to attack back or not? Actually, I'm a sub. Sure, whatever, you like swimming. Just hurry it up. Oh, I like it when you give me orders. Fine, if you don't attack, then I will. Charmeleon, flamethrower one more time. Wow, you're too much. I just can't handle you. You truly bested me. I fully submit to you, master. All right, I what? Wait, master. As proof of your victory, I bestow upon you the Cascade Badge. Sweet! Two down, six to go! You know, I really admire how well you fought. You're really good at what you do. Very talented. Yeah, you can say I'm quite a bit experienced in my art. Oh. Well, time to go! Wait, Red? Yeah? 
I was wondering, would you like me to travel with you? Travel with me? Yeah, we could see the whole world together. You and me going on a journey? Just the two of us lasting for years and years. Who knows what all might happen? I... I want to be with you, Red. I want to travel with you on your Pokemon journey. <laughs> Traveling with me? <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> huh. I thought it was a good idea. Eh, oh well. Time to plan my next date with Bill.